everyone, Amber from the Vault here. Welcome back to a little bit more of the Outer Worlds. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right back into it. So see you back in just a sec. All right. So I asked a friend of mine if I would Fall be able to romance. We just came from Fallbrook. Seriously, I asked a friend of mine if. Uh, wait, what? Oh, hey there. Thanks again for getting me away from those marauders. Yeah. Oh, last time I was in the city. Sandra was singing your praises about a bolt something or other. Suppose that warrants a discount. You want to buy something? Cool. Hey, life's too short to be worried about danger this and careful that. I'd rather just do my job and try and enjoy it. They were going to try to eat you, Lenora. Oh, it's nothing out of the ordinary, really. I was on my way to Fallbrook and got jumped by insane bloodthirsty cannibals. It happens. No, no, don't be absurd. I'm based out of Stellar Bay, but I cater to our more, um, trailblazing clientele. Got it. Okay, let's see what our discount is. 59%. Not bad. I mean, not bad. Decent. Decent. Cool. Okay. Well, I don't really want any of this. Um, think so. Anyway. I, uh, I asked one of my friends who has completed the game, I, I said, is there anyone I can romance in this game? I'm just curious. And her, her response was, uh, no, you can't, uh, you can't romance anyone. No one is fuckable. And then she said, why does every game need to have someone you can fuck? <laughs> Which I guess is a, a good question, but I'm going to be honest. Why not? Like, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't give me somebody I could have a relationship with in a game. That seems like a very obvious thing to do. Uh, like, duh. Ooh, ooh, look, check that out. I mean, obviously you're going to give me somebody to romance, right? Uh, it's a game. Uh, I'm lonely. I'm a, I'm a very typical woman in my 30s who games. I'm lonely. <laughs> I, I want to have Vicar Max as my in-game daddy. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Right, Why that's not a thing other people want. I don't know. I don't know. Whew. Okay. Well, I do appreciate the firefight that's going on here. I do appreciate the way you guys are actually shooting your guns instead of running in. We're the best. You're not the best. Um, interesting. Unless he said vest. No, no, does he have a vest? Maybe. So anyway, just curious. I, I thought that was a very interesting exchange her and I had. So it looks like we need to be quite a bit far away. I could fast travel over there, which would probably be smart. Or I could just keep running and collect more shit that I'm going to end up selling. Uh, the big reason to collect shit right now is so I can have stuff to sell because I need money to tinker with the weapons. Those are thoughts, but I'm not sure what I want to do right now. I think what I will do, though, is either way, I will transition to the next area so you guys don't have to sit and watch. Looks like there was a Manta Queen up over here. At least some Manta Drones. But that way you guys don't have to sit and watch me run and or uh, transition, whatever I decide to do. So what I'll do is I'll come back in a bit. You still here? You still here? Come on! I want to fight! I'll transition back to when I actually... Ooh, I thought I heard it. Nope. When I actually get there, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, so I guess we gotta talk to Sebastian. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen. But I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rap glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that raptid on acid is working out. 
I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit, on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. Cool, okay. I don't remember any of this, but that's all right. <laughs> ah. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a day with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. You're welcome! You know, Nyoka, between you and me, we know all there is to know about Monarch. What makes you say that? Well, you got your life experience as a hunter, and I've memorized every episode of Terror on Monarch. Oh, Terror on Monarch's a riot. It's all made up, though. You know that, right? Yeah, right. Next, you're gonna tell me Halcy and Helen weren't based on a real person. I won't tell you that, no. You seem happier in your ignorance. I agree, he does. Alright. Well, I sold crap, and we need to decide what we're doing next. So, let's see. We've got the next one. We've got this one. Uh, hold on, though. I thought you wanted to go see your friends on Monarch. Uh... What's with the pleasantries? You want to know something? Just ask. I didn't. I was born into security detail. And when the corporations abandoned this place, I stayed. That's all I know. Besides, I had a few friends here, and they were staying too. What's up? Sure. I don't have a single spot I call home. Wherever I can sit in peace with a bottle is good enough for me. But, yes, I've always been on Monarch. In a sense. My parents took off when the corporations did. I took to companionship with a few friends here for a time, but... Those days are long past. No, we weren't close. And before you ask, there ain't a story there. We just never saw eye to eye on the corporations. Drifted apart over time. It's fine. It ain't exactly easy to hitch a ride off planet, Captain. And besides, I hear Terra 2's all corporate. The way folks talk about the board and their ilk, I think I prefer the beasts. Good. <laughs> I took a job once to clear out a rap nest. Partnered up with a fellow out of Fallbrook who called himself Dirty Don. Bit on the shorter side. Had a penchant for cards. Thing is, he introduces himself and the man is immaculate. Coon. He had a flowery presence to him, a pleasantness that didn't invade your space. He was just there, and you were glad for it. When we set out to hunt down the Raptodons, I found out firsthand where his nickname came from. Dirty Don killed those Raptodons with his bare hands. His bare fucking hands, Captain. He was a whirlwind of grotesque primal fury. In the end, he stood drenched in blood over the entrails of a dozen raps. If he had a scratch on him, I wouldn't have been able to tell. It was glorious. Yeah, yeah, i never seen anything like it. Day came when he tried to take on a mana queen. Got himself eaten one limb at a time. Wonder if he tasted like soap. Oh well, live and learn. No matter how tough you are, if you're gonna fight something bigger than you, bring a fire on. What's up? Hmm. You ever name a place? Ever come to a spot in the world you think ought to be remembered? Those don't count. Those names were paid for. I name things and places quite often. Rotting River, Golden Rock, the Horizon's Edge. Anytime I come to a spot I think is worth remembering, I name it. It's easy to get lost in the wilderness. 
I don't mean physically. All you need is a clear night sky to get your bearings. I mean, it's easy to forget that you belong. Spend a few weeks camping with the raps and you start to forget what it's like to be human. When a beast growls at you, maybe you start to growl back. Those little spots, the rock here, the river there, I'd name them so that in those moments, I could remind myself not where I was, but who I was. Well, we eat, we drink, and holler and fuck. On some level, we all function the same. But they ain't got memories or attachments to places, to friends, to, to themselves. I found that every once in a while, my own attachments would start to slip. Then I'd take a drink from the rotting river, find my spirit refreshed. Anyway, enough sentimental yammering. Let's find a drink or a target. So What's I up? don't understand. Uh, we're back on Monarch. Shouldn't we have a mission from her? Or did I accidentally do it already? All right. Um, let's look here. Looking for closure, reminding her, guarding her old team. I don't know why it says space. That's weird. It says space, but she definitely said on Monarch, right? Because we're on Monarch. Hmm. Because I thought... Or maybe we need to bring the bodies back to Monarch? Did I completely misunderstand that conversation? I absolutely could have. It's way too hot in my apartment. I have been making the mistake lately of turning off my air conditioning because it's, you know, September. I'm thinking... Well, at the time I'm recording this, it's September. And thinking, oh, it's cool enough outside, I'll be fine. It was almost 90 today, so no, I will not be fine. Oh, I'm dying. Okay. Let's go to the map. Let's see. Uh. Oh, okay. So, yes. We are still... Okay. So, yes. We are still supposed to be on Monarch. So, I don't know why it's listed under space. That didn't make any sense to me. Uh, I should have looked under space sooner. But usually they're listed on the planet they're actually on. So, that's kind of weird. That's the whole reason I sorted it that way. But, whatever. We can go ahead and head over that way. We can go ahead and take care of her mission. Um, one thing I'm a little confused, I guess, about with her... I, I don't remember picking her up, which is part of the problem. I just barely remember coming and getting her on Monarch. Um, I don't remember the why we picked her up. Like, there must be some reason we came and got her. And man, I am telling you, it was so long ago that I started this game. And life just kept kicking me in the, uh... Well, I was going to say kicking me in the balls. And then I remembered I don't have any balls. Hmm. I don't want to explain that one. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, well, this looks great. Rax. Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in Sure. That's how it works. Dude's gonna rest in peace, and these guys won't come back, you know? That was it? Just the two of them? Are we sure we're done? Okay. Ooh, a small locket. Okay. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying because it hurt like hell to do so. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, 
Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. <sighs> okay, I guess. Um... I mean, we know where we're going then. We have to go to the Devil's Peak Station, but... Might as well go ahead and fast travel there. So, I guess we're going to Terra 2 then. So this isn't quite how I thought this would end. I thought we were just gonna... Quickly run around Monarch, find our friends. I don't know if these missions matter towards some kind of loyalty or not. I'm going to assume that these are loyalty missions. I'm going to assume this has something to do with the end of the game. But I'm guessing that we're going to end up doing the rest of the game first before we finish up her uh, her part of the game. Since these people obviously aren't here, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was all going to be on Monarch, so I'll be honest. I'm a little thrown off right now. But asking Hiram isn't too bad. He's an okay guy, but he's going to want to want something. He's gonna wanna want something? He's going to want something. Oh my goodness. So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? And I don't see an Insta coffee in your hand. Yes, the one that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? Is this bonding? I'm I'm not sure I like it. Next, you'll be asking me how I got the scar on my chin when I was 11. Most of it's underneath along my jaw, but yes, it seems to have faded with time. Moral of the story is, never run with scissors. The Vord has a blockade of gunships that patrol Monarch. Not a ton, mind you, just enough to deter the masses. I am curious as to what downed it. A faulty part wouldn't be wholly unusual. The supply for new mechanicals is tight. Ugh. Now I'll never sleep. Unsolved puzzles really torque my sprockets. If you find out what happened, sell me the info. I fear it's a sad day when you've resorted to asking me for advice. Sanjar's about as deadly as a spilled can of lead paint. If anyone's to aim a cannon at my face, I'd prefer it be him. But he'd never have the guts to defend Monarch if it came down to it. Graham's as likely to bomb Monarch as he is to protect it, down to the last dying man, woman, and sister pig. As I'm not the one with access to the artillery cannon, I reckon the decision's ultimately up to you. I'm not sure anyone's accused me of being polite before. Besides, I know better by now than to think you'd go. I'm getting a headache behind my left temple. What could be causing it? The glare from the terminal screen? Or something else? Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Give my regards to Phineas. Okay, sure. Hiram, I can't say you're good company. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play The Outer Worlds. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, do all the YouTube things, as well as go ahead and click on some of the random things that are on your screen. There might be a couple videos, maybe a playlist, I don't know, I put it all in and post. Other thing that will be on your screen, though, I can guarantee you, is a picture of my big dumb face. Click on that, that will allow you to subscribe to the channel, and you can also click that bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I put up a new video. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys, but I do want to let you know that you can always talk to me here in the comments, but you can also check me out over on Twitter, at Amber from the Vault, spelled the same way as here, no E in the, no O in from. There's also some information in the description here if you'd like to know how you can help out the channel. Keep good games coming on here. We're going to go ahead and get out of here, though, guys. I will see you in the next one, and I'm so excited to play more of this game, so see you in a bit.